All right, although it looks like this 64 Fury with its original 383 is ready for the Smithsonian, it's actually ready for Chip and the A-Team. Is the A-Team ready for the Fury? Ready. Yes. Yeah. Let's take it apart, boys, come on. This car is a survivor. Nobody has messed with it till now. One of the things that makes this car so cool is all the trim and chrome that's on it. Not easy to replace. We might have to use the original, right? Well, the main thing is, is that this trim is very hard to find out there. So we literally have to fix every tiny little piece. I just removed the sill plate out of the car on the passenger side, and it's actually broken off. There's a piece that extends underneath the back seat. So this is a very difficult piece to repair. We may have to repair it, but I'm gonna try and search on the internet and find a new one. With this deconstruction, we have to bag and tag and label everything because we have to reuse everything. We have to make sure when we're unbolting all this that we don't break all the studs off of the bolts or the moldings that we've got. So all these little pieces, we're gonna remove the letters, keep all the screws. This is the original nose piece of the car, and there is not one ding anywhere along it. Sure, there's a couple scratches, but nothing that can't be repaired very quickly. The precious, precious. Obviously been some front end damage here because this bumper bolt has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shims on it, which means that it got hit here at some point. Okay, I'm taking out the Hurst shifter. These things are really cool. They have a lot more positive and they're super accurate. That's why people love them, and I do too. I just took off the front bumper and you know I'm, I'm still marveling at how many shims that they use. The engine looks like it's in fairly good shape. There's still good green cooling in it, you know, no rust. There's no bad oil leaks on it. Now, are you also surprised at the shape that this car is in? I was expecting a lot more rot. I actually, the car is really clean. And, uh, you know, you can see it's one paint job over the original paint job. What I'd really like to find out is if that interior is the original color that came with this kind of turquoise blue. If that interior went with this color, there was a colorblind designer at Mopar back then. There was some strange stuff going on back then. You know, it was the 60s. Exactly. Inside the cab and below it, parts are just flying off this Fury. Woo! The original paint right there. That's nice. Because that molding's so difficult to get off, you know they didn't pull it off just to paint it. The theme of this overhaul is save everything. And hopefully we can freshen up the Fury's original 383. From the outside, the patient looks good, but we'll have to send it out to an engine specialist for an accurate diagnosis. Deconstruction is done, and now it's time for us to roll the car over to the body shop where we can see what kind of damage is really lying underneath that paint. You ready, guys? <laughs> 